tonight on Christmas special in Contestasia.com Martin's report in English today. This is Thursday, 20th of December 2012. And my name is still Martin. In American, Martin. Martin. In British, Martin. In, uh, in, in Russian, Martin. Okay, and in Polish, Martin. Okay, and tonight our guest is Greg McKelvey, who hopefully is still alive. He is in States and he's... Uh, oh, he's right now with oh, us. Oh, 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 Merry Christmas! Hi, Greg. Hello, Martin. This is so Hey, Greg speaks some Polish, so please be careful when you call. And please do not use swear words, not even on chat. Yes, I would... I would appreciate no swear, swear words. Okay. You can use some if you feel inclined to, but <laughs> you might not. Okay. Uh, so, okay. You live in States right now, right? Yeah, so let me send the greetings. Dzień dobry ludzie, jestem Giedoś McKelvey. This is short. Well, we were supposed to hold the conversation in English, but if you're... <laughs> oh, yes, of course, in English. I just wanted to, I wanted to send a special greeting to my Polish friends in Polish. So. Oh, okay. Okay, that's good. Uh, so, do you like Christmas? Let's start about Christmas. Do you like Christmas I at all? I love Christmas. Oh, my goodness. I hate Christmas. Yeah. So, we will have a good conversation, hopefully. You hate Christmas? Martin, you cannot be a Scrooge. I can be a Grinch. You can be yeah. a humbug. <laughs> I'm a humbug, okay, and I'm not ashamed of it. Okay, never yes, mind. Uh, Martin, yes? I love Christmas because yeah, it's why? a time where, regar regardless of where you are in the world, you can show the brighter side of yourself to people when most people don't get that have. all the time. Well, most people don't have the bright side to themselves, so in Christmas they show what they have, which is really nasty. Don't you think? Yes, but, you know, it, it makes people feel good to wish someone a Merry Christmas. Uh, sometimes a kind word can mean a lot to someone. Okay, let me talk to the listeners and inform. You can call us and you can ask any questions. Greg is from States. He knows everything, you know, he's American. So he's the wow. all-powerful. He has got uh, several houses and 500 cars in his garage. I and do? It's, yeah, it's America, right? So... It's paradise. It's not. I have one. I have one little Nissan Versa. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a bike, so you're still better than me. Ne never mind. Okay, please call us. You know uh, how to call us. Use Skype and uh, type what it's written here. Oh my goodness! You see, contestacja.com. Oh, I have to speak Polish. Greg, can you say contestacja? Contestacja. Yeah, pretty com. good. Yeah, something like that. Or the phone number in Poland is 222-195-321. I've never ever read it in English before. Hopefully someone can understand it. Okay, let's talk about Christmas. This is a topic for tonight. And this yeah. is no, there's no politics, no, I don't know, no fighting. Just beautiful Christmas when people can enjoy pretending that they like each other for a change. Well, I like each. I like people most of the time, and Christmas just makes me in a happier mood. Really, it does. But yes, now Mar Martin, you know me very well. I do. You you know that generally I'm an optimistic person. You are, but are, is everybody else on Christmas? Are people well, more optimistic on, on Christmas or not? In I America, would, I would say yes. I would say people are more optimistic at Christmas, and I would say that people are more generous at Christmas time than any other time of the year. Really? Why? Yeah. Uh, because there's a spirit of giving. Uh, well, it's the, called the commercials. Says, uh, it, it's be better to give than to receive, and I think many people sense that at Christmas time. Yeah, I think Walmart and McDonald's and all the other companies really like that spirit, and it's better to to buy and give than not to buy yeah well i'm sure you know there's no doubt that um, christmas is a uh is a commercial venture today mm -hmm. however 
it's also a spiritual venture as well. It's something meaning to me in a spiritual way, not just buying gifts. Okay, but do you think many people think so? Christmas is spiritual. Yes, I think so. Yes, really. Now, okay. now, now let's talk about those people. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there are some people that think Christmas is all about getting presents. What can I get yeah. for me? Right. Right. But there's also those people who think uh, that Christmas is a time for family, uh, a time for expressing uh, kind of a special hope of the new year, and Christmas mm -hmm. puts people in the mood to do that. So mm. and it reminds people. I mean, when I when I drive around, lots of times I'll see. Uh, stickers on a car, like a bumper sticker. Oh, what does that, it say? That says, Kill Obama. Jesus, is the, Jesus is the reason for the season. Really? People say yes. that out loud? Well, yes, okay. Absolutely. You've seen Christmas in Poland. How many times? Many yeah. times, right? Uh, I've, it's, I've spent at least uh, eight Christmases in Poland. Okay, are they any different than Christmas in States in America? Uh, I would say yes. The traditions are different. For example, uh, most you know on Christmas Eve you have the Virgilia, uh, mm -hmm. this great Polish dinner. Uh, in America, most families don't necessarily do that. Um, you don't their eat? big dinner is Christmas Day. Oh, uh, the songs are a little different. There are different Christmas carols. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, I don't know the name of this Polish song, but. That's my favorite. It goes, Fa-wow, coochie, coochie, fa-wow, coochie, coochie, na na no stamani. Oh my goodness, I knew you would sing that song. <laughs> okay. It's my favorite okay, but this Polish one, Christmas song. Okay, this one, this no, Polish Christmas song, this, this Chris particular Christmas song is happy, right? It's merry. Yeah, it's... But most of the Polish Christmas songs are kind of sad, don't you think? Excuse me, I have something in my throat. <clears> throat. Oh, oh my goodness! What are you doing in that car? Who's with you? Terrible. Okay, what do you have in your throat? <laughs> You're oh a funny goodness. man, Martin. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, I'm. I'm apologizing for being a bit too funny. Okay, for okay. so, um, so in, in, for example, though the big controversy in America mm -hmm. is that you have people switching from Christmas theme to holiday theme. Ah, and, why? And, why is it happening? Because it is not politically correct to say Merry Christmas to people. Why not? Well, Christmas involves Christ. Not everyone mm. is a Christian. Hmm. And they want to make it more acceptable. So it's a holiday tree. Ah, it's so... Happy holiday. It's happy holidays. So Satanists can celebrate Christmas too. Sure, they can say happy holidays. <laughs> okay. They can have a holiday tree. So it's not Christian celebration anymore? Uh, not in America. Nope. Uh, now, obviously, there is a Christmas holiday, right? Yeah. However, my son <clears throat> had a concert at the school. Yeah. He was singing some music. Mm -hmm. And when I was a boy, we used to have a Christmas concert with real Christmas music. Yeah. He had a holiday concert, yeah, and there was not one Christmas song in it. What do you mean? How can you have a Christmas uh, show with no Christmas songs? So what do they sing? They call they called it holiday. Uh, they called it the winter concert. Winter concert? Oh my goodness! What the hell? And it's what not songs? Even winter yet. <laughs> so w what are the songs? What do they sing? Uh, some of the songs had to do with uh, there was a couple of Negro spirituals. There was a song about African slaves. There was a song about what? oppression of people. Uh, there was Dominos Pachim. That was one religious type song. Ooh. But that was really it. That is very strange what you're saying, but... Everybody thinks here in Poland that the Americans are very, um, what do you mean, how do you say it, biblical, very, they talk about God all the time. I mean, every president of the United States has to say something about God in every five sentences, you know. 
So why is it happening? Uh, well, that is, that, is not, that is not true with Barack Obama. He can't even <laughs> quote scripture correctly. Well, okay. Do others quote scripture correct, correctly? Other presidents? Uh, some do, but really? people are... Um, obviously, there are a certain part of the population who are very religious. There's mm -hmm. another part of the population who could care less about religion and want America to be more of a secular country. Hmm. Well, okay, let's go back to Poland. What would you... Yes, Poland! <laughs> well, let's not go to Poland, but let's talk about Poland. Okay, what would you improve for Christmas in Poland? Because uh, I don't, I don't think... I think there is much room to improve, yeah, for improvement in celebrating well, Christmas in Poland. I think, uh, I like, you know, I, I think every person has a right to their own family traditions. Mm -hmm. uh, I always enjoyed watching uh, uh, someone kill a carp. That was always fun. Kill the what? Carp. The fish. Oh, kill the carp. Kill the fish, yay! Yeah. That's yeah, one good tradition. Yeah. Now that's a very interesting, interesting tradition. You go to the market, you buy a fish two or three days before Christmas, <clears throat> you put it in your in your bathtub, and you play with it for a few days, and then you yeah. kill it. That's a very Merry Christmas to the fish. <laughs> so you don't have this in America? You don't kill anything on Christmas? Oh, well, I, I, I go to the store and buy a turkey that's been killed by somebody, but I don't... Ah. in my bathtub, right? So Americans are just hypocrites. They want it killed, but they don't want to do the deed themselves. Exactly. <laughs> okay, and so we're only, Polish... about, we're only talking about food here, right? <laughs> Polish Christmas is much better. We kill our food ourselves. Yay, at least. Exactly right. Fish. Okay, how about drinking? And, and This is a good topic, yeah. Oh, yes. You know, um... Believe it or not, Americans do a lot of drinking. Uh, you know, it may not be vodka. I know vodka is the Polish national drink. On Christmas. But it is, the American national drink is probably beer. A lot of people drink beer. On a lot Christmas? of people drink wine. And Christmas me, beer? This is too weird. Yeah. Seriously? They even have Christmas beer. Christmas beer? I mean, uh, it's actually called Christmas beer? Yes. Oh my goodness, that is... Okay, it's hard for me to imagine. I mean, I've never imagined it's, it's beer. American Christmas. It's beer. It's beer that has water from Israel. <laughs> no. Yes, really? no joke. There's no water in Israel. I mean, there's desert. Exactly. It's too weird. It's very weird. Okay. <laughs> But, no, I'm joking. <laughs> there is a Christmas beer, though. It's a holiday beer. Uh, they add some spices to it a little bit. It's pretty good. Okay, but are you serious about Christmas in Poland? That this is really warm, nice celebration? I mean, you don't see all those people who have faces, like long faces. They are all sad. They, they're they not happy. and They can't be happy. They well, don't know how to be happy. Well, I tell you this. When I was in Poland, <coughs> regardless of where I went at Christmas time, and you know it true, I always wish people a Merry Christmas, very loudly. You do. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Greg was walking around Rynek in Krakow and screaming to everyone he could, Merry Christmas. Everyone he met, he, it's a stranger, complete stranger, he says, Merry Christmas. And everybody smiles. That's And true. Everyone reacted to me favorably. I didn't say anyone else, weird American, strange person. Though I probably was, I still got a positive response from people. And it was very nice. You know, Polish people are polite, so they won't tell you in your face what they think. They are just being polite, maybe. Sure, most people are polite, and, and I appreciate their politeness. The Polish people were very patient with me, trust me. <laughs> Actually, they like it. It, it works. When you smile to them, they smile back. But if you don't That's smile right. to them and, first, and, and, and nobody the does... the thing is, is that, for me... This wishing people Merry Christmas on the street or in a shop. It, if it's a natural thing, a part of my personality, people see this. Yep, true. And well, we need you in Poland it. then. Can you fix entire country, please? We need somebody to smile no, to 40 million people. But all I know is that tomorrow has to be a better day. 
Well, yes, try because to today remain, is so bad. Try to remain optimistic and positive, and things will happen, you know, good and bad in life. Things happen good and bad in life, but Christmas is a time to be optimistic and look to the future, I believe. Well, okay, okay then. Well, uh, I have something to show. Uh, actually, you don't have a computer in front of you. You don't, do you? I do not have a computer in front of me, unfortunately. Well, okay, so I have a short 30 second video and I'm going to tell you what it's about and everybody, but you're not able to watch okay. it, so I have to explain, okay? So, uh, look at this. Well, actually, it didn't work that well because I didn't have microphone on. But what you saw was, uh, and you didn't see, Greg, was uh, well celebration in the uh, rynek in the town square in Radom yeah. of Christmas, early celebration organized by the town council or somebody. And there was uh, this huge table in the middle of the town, and there were some supplies, some well. Maybe it wasn't champagne, it was just some, I don't know, cakes, something to drink. And people kept coming and taking uh, what they could. They just rushed the tables. And their faces said, gimme, 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 gimme. Before somebody else takes. And their faces were not happy at all. It was not Christmas-like at all. So, well, come on, you have to admit people in Poland are not happy in their majority and they do not have this they don't feel the spirit of Christmas actually there's not even a uh, there's no phrase spirit of Christmas in Polish we don't use it nobody says spirit of Christmas here interesting well uh, you know you know I will admit that uh, you always find people that are discouraged at this time of year. Christmas isn't an easy season for people because there's a lot of pressure on them to provide for their families, uh, to provide presents, to provide some type of food for the table. Mm -hmm. And it, it's, a, it's financially tough for a lot of people. Even in America, it's financially tough for a lot of people. Okay. And you know, it, it does bring about the sadness of Christmas. How do I provide for my family and friends and so when something is offered for free yeah i might be a little over enthusiastic to get something for free <laughs> if i'm <laughs> in that situation if they were over enthusiastic i wouldn't mind but they were just mean no, 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 no. Angry people are mean here at times too for example mm -hmm. black friday in america going to the shopping mall at mm -hmm. five in the morning to buy some something for someone And, you know, people are running through the stores being crazy. Now, th now this is a bad example of the Christmas spirit, obviously. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> Five in the I mean, morning, there's, there's, Russian markets. Doesn't there's sound... People get run, they get run over. They get uh, trampled on by people, hit by people. Uh, you know, and it's not very nice sometimes. But in the day-to-day -day activity, my interactions with people... I choose to be happy. I choose to wish people a Merry Christmas in hoping to bring some kindness to their life. Okay. Which is really a good thing to do, I think. I agree. We should try. I don't think we're trying no, it, enough. And, and, you know, again, you know, what is this? What's Christmas? What's most important at Christmas time? To me, Eat. it's not uh, It's not the gifts. Uh, it's not... It's the food. Yeah. Uh, the, it's not the food, even. It's being with family. Uh, oh. Being surrounded by people you love. Uh, life well, Greg, okay, short. yes, but you're very idealistic. But most f most families they don't even like each other, and not to you know maybe they love each other because they have to. You know, there's family. You have to love your family, but they don't like each yeah. other, and you can see that they don't like to be together. M maybe but it's uh, not in states. I don't know. I don't know, but. It is. I, mean, I, I mean, now, now let's talk about this for a minute, because... Okay, uh, well, we I have, have a caller, we have a guy calling. Can we talk to the guy? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. 
So, hello, dude, whoever hello, you are. Hello, this is Jacek. Hi. Hi, it's Jacek. Hello. One Polish guy directly from Denmark. <laughs> well, I just want to say one thing about Martin. Oh, Please okay. stop yelling about this Polish nature. <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, I don't know why I hear so huge echo now, but uh, stop yelling about this part of Polish nature when we always being unhappy about all these things. Well, some of us, I'm happy. No, yeah, no, I mean, you know, this thing, bad things, and things like Christmas is mm -hmm. just a dirty job, but it's gotta do. And after all, Polish carols are not so, so much uh, sad. They are. Yes, they are. They are. Most of them are depressing, sad, and uh, they give you this melancholy. You know, that, 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 that attitude to this Christmas, where you have only being happy and singing things like that the the, the snow is falling and something else is happening is slightly shallow. Simply, I mean, shallow. Yeah. Is the joy shallow? Maybe. Joe, I mean, being joyful is kind of shallow. Yeah, it's not deep. Yeah, but well, let's have fun. Let's rejoice. This is shallow. It's supposed to be shallow. I think. Something what I like about Polish Christmas is that there is this kind of sublimity, majesty inside. It's heavy, though. No, I don't find it. I mean, I like it. Like, okay. for example, do you have any, I really have don't any... feel Christmas because I feel that beside of this thing, giving gifts, this. I'm just, I'm just completely disagree with you here. Okay, okay. Well, it's, well, that's and what the great, radio I is about. So many things with Poland, but please don't believe Martin absolutely everything <laughs> she said. Just. Greg was many years in Poland. He has his own opinions. Believe me. Okay, do you have any questions oh. for him? Uh, yeah. Well, yes. Okay. So I have two questions. Yes, yeah, I have two very important questions for to, to Greg. But since he was here for a couple of years, then probably the first one is not, because we have something like a tradition. We polls, at least I have. If I meet someone from outside, I always ask him. So, what do you know about Poland? But since he will have been living here for many years, then it's not, it's nothing, really. And the second question is more something like a joke because it's not true that we shouldn't talk about politics, because we polls, at least me, always talk during Christmas about politics. Yeah, so that was my next question. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. okay. Martin, 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 can you repeat those two questions for me, please? Yeah, the second one was about politics. Actually, I didn't understand the first one. Can you just really quickly, Jacek, repeat the first one? No, no. Hello? My first question is, was, yes, that because at least I have something like a habit when I meet someone from, from outside of the, of the Poland, what does he know about Poland? Great. And the truth is yeah. that since he has been living here for many years, but that's something like a Polish tradition, which comes, I believe, from from this. But the second question is because we always talk about politics, and I have to spoil all your Christmas atmosphere about it. And since we are in contestasi still, Greg, what do you think about Obama, please? Tell <laughs> oh my goodness! That's okay, I have to leave. Well, well, thanks, yeah, it's like Okay, okay. All right, Greg. So okay, Martin, you have to repeat those two questions for me, please. I did not understand him. The first one, I'm not sure I, I understood it. It was kind of long and complicated. I, I, I don't know. Maybe someone on chat will remind me. But the second one I didn't understand perfectly because uh, you know many people in Poland talk about politics at Christmas yeah. and every time. I mean, I don't know. This is what Polish people do. So the question for you uh, in the Christmas special in our radio is: What do you think about Obama, the president? Well. I a uh, couple of things I'll say. First of all, uh, I spent I will talk about the Polish my time in Poland at Christmas time. Yeah, uh, I loved Polish Christmas. I was with Polish people. I ate Polish food. I enjoyed my Polish family. And uh, if I could spend anywhere in the world Christmas Eve, it would be in Krakow. Ooh, it's very special to me and. Uh, I love the, the Christmas atmosphere in Poland. I love the Christmas music, and I certainly love the Christmas food. Yeah, the food. Okay. I agree. Everything so else, that, I don't. <laughs> that, that's it. Uh, okay. You have to understand that when people get in America, get together in America with family, they try not to discuss politics and religion because someone's always going to be fighting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
So that's what Polish people love, you know, to fight each yes, other. Yes, yes. But on the Christmas special, I want to wish President Obama a very merry Christmas. Really? Uh, and a happy New Year. Yes. Look, you have to separate two things. You have to separate President Obama. Uh, from the man and President Obama from president. As president, uh, I don't necessarily agree with all his policies. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I... Do, you do we agree with any of his policies, actually? Sure, yes, absolutely. Oh, okay. I think uh, people should have uh, to medical treatment in America. They mm -hmm. should help the homeless people. And that Obamacare is something that will help America, uh, everyone get insurance and fair medical treatment okay? are you serious well, we, you know Absolutely. we had this in poland and we had uh, no, no, 40 no, years you, you, experiment you you, you you have your system in poland it, yeah, well it's obamacare, something like obamacare it, uh, obamacare will be a different system here here's an example martin okay uh i have i have insurance private insurance right now yeah okay What's wrong I with that? To have, I, I will continue to have private insurance. Good. That doesn't change. Well, but you will pay in your taxes for insurance that is mandatory. For uh, Mandatory for who? For you, because you have to pay for it in no, your taxes. No, no, not, not for me. You I, don't pay I it? Have taxes? My private, I have my private insurance, and I will keep my private insurance. Uh, if I didn't have insurance, I would have to go find insurance on the government uh, from from somewhere in the government somewhere to have insurance, right? Well, who's paying for all the? Who's paying well, all those well, money? Obviously, for? obviously, uh, if you don't have insurance, uh, taxpayers pay some of it. Obviously, yeah, but, which but is but you. Martin, that's what's ha that's what's happening but, but now. You said some of it. I thought all of it. No, not necessarily. Uh, every person will contribute uh, into the system what they can if they're insured by the government. So, if I have if I have insurance, I pay a very low tax for other people to have insurance. If I'm if I'm in yeah. the uh, government insurance plan, whatever that is, whatever that looks like, uh, the person that gets it, it's not free. They have to pay a portion into it as well. But mm. but I think that for for me, the bottom line is. You know, what's happening now, Martin, is that let's say I have private insurance and the person next to me has no insurance. Yeah. The person the person that has no insurance goes to the emergency room hospital. Yep. And then they get tested in the hospital. Okay. And then somewhere along the way, someone has to pay for their treatment because the person is too poor to pay. Well, so guess who, yeah. pays, guess, who, guess who pays? Well, taxpayers... Me? course yes so so regardless of what we do you know american people are going to have to pay something and that's how it well, is uh, there's a problem in this all and the problem is it's not well well it's different when you're helping someone because you want to help uh, and when somebody takes your money to help without asking you if you want to help or not I mean, there well, it should be voluntary, I, 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 not. I think it. I think it's forced. interesting, Martin. Uh, President Obama. If people did not like Obamacare. Mm -hmm. Why didn't they? Why did they reelect him? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> why? So, what do you think? So, so, so obviously, fifty-one percent of America liked President Obama enough to reelect him. Well, so, no, 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 not necessarily. They liked him better than the other guy, yeah. Which they liked him better than the uh, than the alternative. Yeah. So maybe that's the reason well, the other guy was even well, worse. Well, I, I don't know, but all I know is that he had a strong, know. you know, he's got a strong showing. Now let's talk about as far as President Obama, the man. Mm -hmm. uh, President Obama, the man, has a wife and two little girls. That I'm sure he loves, like I love my two boys, mm -hmm. and 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 I wish you know I wish them a merry Christmas and a happy new year and wish them the best in their personal life. This is actually so good to hear. You know, uh, not many people in Poland remember that the politicians are also humans. Actually, we don't sure. give them right of being 
regular people and kind of like them for being people, not for their politics. This is, uh, it right. should be separate. I agree, but I don't think many listeners would agree well, with you. Actually, I, I, that's okay. I respect your opinion, but I'm not. But I understand that you know politicians have families. Uh, mm -hmm. They have sickness. They have people that. Uh, are born uh, by their children and people that die. So they're human like you and I, and they they yeah. they're not super they're not super beings. I agree exactly. Okay, so. I had more questions. How about more questions? Okay, please. I kind of yeah, I had a really good one, and I f I just forgot it. <laughs> oh, it wasn't about <laughs> drinking. I <laughs> about drinking. Uh, let me ask you a question, Mark. Yeah. Uh, was I the first American you ever met? No. Oh, yes. Oh. No, actually, I don't know. Well, y you were... Uh, okay, I, I don't know. Maybe a uh, few hours before you, I met somebody else, or I, I don't know. Okay. But, uh, yes, you were one of the f first group of Americans I met, yes. And uh, uh, you were 17 years old, I think, right? Yes, I was. I was. I, I, I know Martin for a long time. He he's been very helpful to me in my time in Poland. Yep. Was I? Yep. Really? Uh, really? <laughs> we used we used to walk through Krakow together with a very oh, airy yeah. breeze. Oh the yes. The poisonous fumes. They were, and they still are, <laughs> in Krakow. Yes. Krakow I by night fumes. with Greg. This is memorable experience. So, do yep. you come to Poland anymore? Do you uh, ever? I've not been to Poland in two years. I'm not sure when I will come again, but I look forward to coming back to my second home. Mm. Okay. So, next question. Okay, let's go back to this Christmas uh, yeah. thing. Is the Christmas as important as Thanksgiving in the United States? What's the difference? Uh -huh. Now, that's a very good question. Uh, Thanksgiving, I think a lot of people enjoy Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. because there is not this commercial element to it. Really? Uh, there are really? no gifts on Thanksgiving? Uh, there's no... I mean, how do you... The only thing... The only people that make money at Thanksgiving are the people that sell ham and turkeys. Oh, okay. So, so you don't buy gifts for people at Thanksgiving. It's really a family time. Uh, I think, uh, you know, even more so than Christmas. Christmas has a different atmosphere and a different expectation. Uh, there's an expectation of uh, the Christmas tree, an expectation of uh, gifts under the tree. There's expectations of Santa Claus and expectations of, uh, you know, getting something you don't need. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Those types of expectations. It's a different season altogether. The foods are a little similar. Uh, mm -hmm. Most people will have a turkey dinner or maybe a ham dinner. They'll have mashed potatoes and gravy and bread and lots of pies. Pumpkin pie, pies. apple pie. Ooh. Lots okay. of pies. Is German, anything like German pie cake. in Poland? What is pie like? Most of our listeners never ate pie, I think. Mm. Uh, pie to me, that's a very good question. Uh, well, pie is, is, is a, round, a round object about nine inches round. And in, okay. in it, there's a crust, a bread, a light bread. And mm -hmm. you, you fill it with something. You fill it with apples and cinnamon and sugar. Or you fill it with uh, strawberries and raspberries. Or you fill it with pumpkin. Is it like and sugar and, Yeah, uh, yeah. kind of, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and you, bake, you bake it. And get, that's okay. pie. American pie. Okay. American <laughs> pie. Now, uh, also, something about America's... Uh, is that most pies and things are much sweeter. Yeah, uh, they're nasty. They are too sweet. Much, they're much, yes, they're very sweet. In fact, uh, I always love Polish pastries and things, but they were never as sweet as other Polish food that I would eat. I mean, American oh. food I would eat. Okay, so. what is the difference between pie and a tart? Tart. A tart. Uh, it's very similar. Uh, a tart is more cakey, I think. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Is it so. still, is it an American thing, tart, or is it British or something? A tart? Uh, I think it's more British. Oh, okay. What but is I, a fruitcake? That's the good question. 
a fruit, fruit cake. cake. Oh, a fruit cake is a thing that you use to kill people. No, I'm joking. <laughs> like carp. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A fruit cake is, you know, you have to experience fruit cake. It's like a very, um, uh, it's very cakey, very heavy. It's, it's Christmas though, dry, right? Christmas cake. Dry fruit. Yes, yeah, all for Christmas. When I come to Poland next time, I will make sure I, I bring you a fruit cake. Okay, why? Why is why not? What's so interesting in fruit cake? I mean, I heard about it many times, never ate it. So it's what's just, wrong with it's fruit just cake? Different. It's just, it's just different. It's 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 a gift you give someone you don't like. <laughs> is it traditional or what? It's traditional. So if, if I send you a fruit cake, it means I think so much of you. I sent you this cake that's going to sit on your shelf forever. Is it so bad, really? Uh, it, no, I actually like fruit cake. It's kind of tasty. However, most people don't like fruit cake. It's it's just not. Um, that's not something you get. Uh, it's not something you get your wife or your girlfriend or boyfriend. <laughs> fruit cake. Okay, remember about fruit cakes, guys. If somebody gives yes. you fruit cake, you know what it means, probably. Yes. Yes. And okay. people. I mean, people buy them and send them. It's very American. <laughs> okay, I, have a, I remember the question. That was a good one. Uh, since yes. you come from the country that's famous for mass paranoia at times, uh, for, for example, mass paranoia. Mass paranoia. Paranoia, exactly. Uh, like uh, year 2000. R you remember what was happening? Oh, yes, Y2K. Exactly. And now there's end of the world. At, yes, uh, yes, at yeah, tomorrow. 2012. Tomorrow, oh my and goodness. If, and if everything goes well, I'll do my Christmas shopping on, on Saturday. Oh, after the no, end of the uh, world. No, yes, because no reason to spend money at the end of the world, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. But is everybody going crazy again or no, not so much? Not so much. People uh, in bunkers? A no? A, a, really? a, a, a couple of stories on the news. No, no, nothing like nothing like Y two K. Really? Yeah, I'm surprised. It is not uh, Y two K. People were buying food, stocking it up. They're they're you know they're turning their money under their mattress and and um, everything. And this is uh, most people don't believe in this at all. <laughs> wow, that's surprising, but it's actually good. What does it mean? I mean. People got it means, more brains it, it, or what? It, it means that the mind calendar, you know, they ran out of space on that rock. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I mean, so have you ever seen their calendar? Yeah, I don't remember. It's huge. I mean, there's yeah. no more room to put any more dates. Of course they had to run out. <laughs> okay, so we don't believe in the end of, of the world tomorrow. No, I do not believe in the end of the world tomorrow. How is the business in states right now comparing to what it was this Christmas? The business uh, it, economy. You mean the economy. States. Yeah. Uh, the economy is awful. What do you mean? Why? I, I I I mean that uh, I've never seen so many people out of work. Wow. I've never seen so many people uh, hurting financially. People losing their homes. People losing their cars. Mm -hmm. uh, people. A lot of people are struggling financially. Why? Why do you think? What's the main reason? Well, I think there's a lot of reasons. I think the, you know we're in a you know global recession. Uh, the global economy is awful. It's yeah. bad everywhere. But why? Things you know things. Um, why is it bad? Because there's no jobs. I'll tell you. The why are they no jobs? America, let me tell you. The biggest mistake America ever made was mm -hmm. sending all their manufacturing overseas. But it's you know it's profitable. It's just business. It's cheaper, so it's natural. Yeah, it's Why che is it? It's cheaper for who? No. For everybody. <laughs> Products okay, are cheaper so, for the companies, for so, the consumers. So let's see. Um, if let's say I, I make um, you know I make I make a product in yep. uh, America. I make uh, I make basketballs. Basketballs. Okay, good one. I make ba I make basketballs. Uh, and I and I can sell them. I make them for you know eight dollars a ball, and I sell mm -hmm. them for fifteen dollars a ball. Okay. And I and I have and I have five hundred people that work for me. Yep. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's it's say a huge I find business. a manufacturer in China. Yeah. Who can make my basketball for two dollars? Excellent. I would do it. Excellent for who? Everyone. The company. The consumers, first of all, your balls uh, it, will be cheaper. So let me ask you, is it excellent for those 500 people that will lose their jobs? No, they have to find another job. However, Where? they will have cheaper balls and all 50 million people will have cheaper balls. I mean, I mean we should be thinking about millions of people, not the 500 of people. Well, but see, this is, but see, this is the problem. Everyone thinks about the cheaper product when no one thinks about the people doing the job. And the people well, doing no. the job with uh, the job, uh, yes, absolutely. American, they need American lost its edge in the world by sending its manufacturing away from America. Bottom well, line, actually, they are still the most um, rich country in the world and with the biggest economy. So, it's not that bad. Not that bad. Actually, it seems well, I how, think ma- how I much? Think every, I, I think every individual case is different. What's the unemployment rate in states right now? In your state, where do you live now? Which state? I live in Massachusetts. Okay, so what's the unemployment? Uh, 8%. 8%? It's not that bad. Not that good. Well, Greg, comparing to Europe, this is still paradise. (laughs) Comparing to Poland... I understand. I understand that, but you see, we're, we're in a global recession. And it's still a recession, and jobs aren't returning. People are closing their businesses. I mean, yeah. uh, there's been three. In my little, I live in a little town now of about five thousand people, mm-hmm. and we've had uh, my favorite little. I love going to you know this. I love to go to the restaurant for breakfast. Oh yeah, and there's a little place here called Jimmy's, and I Jimmy's. get the best st- steak and eggs. Whoa. Well, Jimmy's is closing because he can't afford to stay open anymore because people have stopped going out to eat because mm. they have no money. Well, then he has to do something else then. What, yeah, he, something oh, he will. He they will. He, he, but he, Greg, this he, is, he, you know, this is, he, clo- you real- he closed his business, yes, and then he will do something else, but it's, but you, know, you it's, realize it's, it's this is uh, actually quite normal in economy. You have to change constantly because needs of people change. So it's right. it's sh- it should be normal. It's not a like disaster, right? I mean, it's hard f- well, it, situation, but it's more or less normal. It's a, it's a, it's a disaster for him. Well, as for it, everybody it, it, who it has to change. It, it, you know what I, I find interesting about our conversation? Mm-hmm. You yeah. use a lot of uh, generalization. Well, I'm talking about general topics, so... And, and so when you talk about generalization, sure, it's, we're not as bad as the rest of the world in some things. Some things we are. Mm-hmm. But every family, you have to look at every family, every individual, uh, you know, that's lost a job or maybe there's a sickness in their family. I know a man uh, two weeks ago who came to my church. He looked fine. Two days mm-hmm. later, he was in the hospital having brain surgery. Ooh. Wow. His job fired him because he couldn't come to work anymore. Yep. He's got two little girls that he has to support. Mm-hmm. They told him yesterday the, the tumors in his brain have cancer. Mm-hmm. Now, you tell me, how is his situation? This is really See, bad situation, I'm telling you. It's really bad really situation. Bad. So, yeah. so, so, so everybody... Uh, we talk a lot in general terms, but when you talk a lot in general terms, we lose the perspective of the individual going through the good situation or the bad situation. Oh, I understand that. Actually, yeah. the thing is that I realize is that it's impossible to make everyone happy or to invent a system uh, that works and make sure everybody is safe in situations like this. Absolutely. You're absolutely right. And there, there, right. there are you, no... I, I have a question. No, so I know it's so weird. Yeah. Are you a communist? I I am not a communist, no. <laughs> but, I've okay, never so been you... a communist, and I never will be a communist. But, uh, you know, I'm, Obamacare I'm... is kind of a communistic thinking. You know, it's we all have... There's one state that has to take care of everyone. Well, That's let's the talk idea, about what we're taking care idea. of. Okay, Martin... What is yeah. the responsibility of society to people who are so poor they can't afford insurance or doctors? 
They you should let help. Them die? People should help oh, other should people. Do... Yeah. They yeah. should what? Yeah. We we should let them die? No, we should help them. We people should help our neighbors. Yeah. That should be style of I, life. I, I of course. I totally agree. And this is uh, in, in this case, you know, uh, our neighbors are everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. And, Greg, and, uh, the only difference so, is uh, the question is: Should we do it voluntarily, or should we be forced by state, or should it be state that take care of us, or should it be us that take care of us? That's a different. Well, okay, uh, hold on this know, because we have a, a viewer calling. So yes, very good. Okay, hi, hello, Pavel. Hi, are you there? Do you have a microphone? Hello. Please have a microphone. Well, you need to call again with the microphone. Okay, Greg. So, hopefully, yeah. he calls. So, so I, I understand what you're saying. I understand that the government. I, look, I don't want the government to be in, involved in my life. You know, I, there you I, go. I don't want that. I don't want that for me. However, there are some times when you have to say society has to act unilaterally to make sure mm. everyone has health care and has a ability to go to a doctor without feeling discriminated against. Mm. This is really a long conversation, but remember, Greg, I live in a country where we have what you are describing right now, and we had it in many, uh, well, many different styles, variations for last several years. I mean, that's more than several years since actually yeah. since after the war. And it yep, was crap. We also have a lot of this private doctors too. Yes, unfortunately, we all have to pay for what we don't use because it doesn't function anymore. It doesn't work. Right. The health service in Poland I, is I worse than that. ever. Well, that's why Polish people do not believe in Obamacare because they are experiencing it right now. This is going bad. Everything that takes states, the state, the government tries to take care of instead of uh, private people, you know, caring for each other, goes always wrong. I mean, it's a natural process. It don't, it's like nobody has bad intentions, but it just goes like right. that. So, well, okay. you know, and I think it's interesting. I think it'll be interesting, interesting to see what happens over the next two years. Oh, yeah. As, uh, as things work out. Now, this man, as I told you about, has cancer. Yep. Um, because his job fired him, he was able to go and ask the state for medical assistance, and they gave it to him. Hmm. Okay. Now, now, so, so that because of that, he can get chemotherapy and radiation, and that's mm -hmm. a huge thing. I mean, I, I don't think there's an easy solution to this question. I really don't. Mm -hmm. Well, Greg, um, do you realize? Do you think? There is a connection uh, between him taking the money from the government and people losing jobs in economy. In yeah, uh, I would say, I would say not yet. There is no connection. No, I would really? say I would say the biggest problem was that uh, America f fought two wars mm -hmm. where we had no money to fund them. And we well. spent billions and billions of dollars in Iraq, which we're uh, we're still partially there, mm -hmm. and Afghanistan still there. I I have a nephew yep. uh, who's 22 years old, who is a Marine, and he's in Afghanistan right now. Mm -hmm. And that's it takes a lot. It takes billions of dollars to do that. Actually, so you know, that American wars. Uh, American wars are very expensive. It's there's like luxury. I mean, those soldiers get everything they want. They have oh, unbelievable. That's not true. Well, come on, Greg. This, this is really now, Martin. Listen, listen. Wait, 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 wait. That's not true. So, uh, the well, they don't get, have food. It's just, it's just, it's just, soldiers get their food, their clothes, uh -huh. their housing. However, mm -hmm. when my nephew wanted to have a special vest to protect him from uh, being shot, yep, he had to buy it privately. Ooh, the government I didn't did know not that. give it to him, Martin. Yes. So why is it so expensive? To uh, run well, the because war, they have those wars. Well, but why is it so ex so expensive to run a war? Because you have 
all kind, he has nation building going on, trying to rebuild these nations, which is a mistake. I mean, I don't believe we should be in either country. That's true. You're uh, we actually should, aggressors. We should leave. Right now. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, here's Jacek again with a question. Hopefully. Yes, Jacek. Hello, yes, Jacek. Dzień dobry. It's me again. Dzień dobry. You're Hello. the only one calling. You know, everybody I no chickened out. I, I let myself to call again because there, there is no much traffic today. Greg, do, can you hear me now? Yes. I can I hear you question. now. Yes. All right. Perfectly. Well, I have a question because you are all, you're always saying I mean, not always, but you're telling us these tearful stories about all these people who are who have two or three children and they have brain tumor and all this. Well, they are true. It's a very tearful. Yes, but I'm um, great. If you take a look at the history and get back like 250 years ago, the United States was a very poor country, really, and you have decided, okay, so let's create a state with a free market, very liberal, no stupid European things like uh, high taxes and all this society and apparently in something like 200 years you have built the most powerful country in the world and then you have decided oh no 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 let's stop with this generalization oh, let's focus on a simple individual things and then you have started to destroy your own power so I'm afraid that when you lose this general view I mean and this general view of the rules of the country you have started to create things like 8% unemployment in New England, which I believe is something huge as for as for the United States. So, I mean, you, you, have, you told Martin not to generalize, but actually, U.S. was created on one huge generalization. That's my question, and how can you see it? Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so his question was about generalization. Say it to me again, Martin. Well, he was actually pointing out that the United States, uh, out of nothing, of, of simple pioneers raced to the first country in the world by holding freedom and having no Obama cares. So yes, exactly. why to change it now? Well, that's not really true. That is true, Greg. Uh, no. no, of course not. Now, the government has always helped people establish themselves. For example, in the 1800s, the government owned the land in Oklahoma. The mm. government set forth a program so people could go to Oklahoma and race to the land. Do okay, you know how high they taxes did. were back then? How much yes, money do they have? Uh, the, the other thing is that um, people also, uh, you know, during the Great Depression, the government put forth many programs to help American people. Well, that's actually uh, a really bad example, Greg, because that's exactly why depression took so long. Uh, well, you, you, you know what? But still, I mean, it gave people jobs and hope. Listen, my well, my ideal America, my ideal America, Martin, would be one where people are free to accomplish what they want to accomplish. Yes, and let's ev everyone listen to me. Everyone would help everyone else. However, mm -hmm. that is not the case. And people that uh, people that struggle, uh, that are very poor, who cannot afford medical care, who are sick, for whatever reason, I don't care how you do it. They shouldn't be denied it. Well, so I don't yeah, I understand I don't the care. problem. However, if you are going to kill uh, those who make money, you will have no money to give to the poor. You know what I mean. So you have to keep right. the balance well, at know, least. But America has been taxed for years, and will continue That's to be taxed for years. This I mean, is really on everything. Yeah. By the way, what are the taxes in states right now? What taxes do you pay? I mean, on regularly. During when I, you think live. I think twenty five. I think twenty five percent is my tax rate. Okay, it's tax. Uh, you yeah, pay taxes when? When you buy something, you have a well, sale tax. You don't have value uh, added in tax. It, in, in my state, you have a seven percent sales tax. Seven percent? Is it like yep. value added tax? Something similar to that? No, it's not a value added tax. It's a sales tax. What's the difference? When do you pay uh, it? A value added tax is usually uh, something above a sales tax in America. Mm -hmm. uh, a sales tax is for the state. A value added tax goes to the federal government. Now, <clears throat> and we don't have a federal tax, we have a state tax. Yeah, but it's the tax that you pay uh, in the goods you buy, right? 7% in everything you buy. Yeah, yeah 7%. 7% okay, so in my well, in Europe, it's yep. still 23 right now, right now, uh, yep. value added tax. So seven is really low comparing to that. Okay, so yeah, is so there income tax still? I'm sorry? 
income tax there is still in states, right? Oh, yeah. I, I pay income tax. 25% of my salary goes to income tax, and another 10% goes to uh, Social Security. Oh, my goodness. 25% income tax? Yes. It's huge. It's a lot. Yeah. Wow. People are taking uh, lots of money. They could invest, create jobs. Yes. Yeah. You know. So it's, it's, instead it, of it, that, I agree. I mean, I love low taxes, but you know, we also have. It, it's it's complicated. It's a complicated issue. Um, you know, I uh, think the it's big not issue. The, the, next, the next big issue in America, Martin, is going to be gun control. Oh yeah, that's another one. Okay, but you have a Pavel, and he has a microphone. I can hear him now. Oh, great, Hi. Great. Okay, Greg, to uh, I will refer to the uh, Greg uh, statement about uh, manufacturing, not in USA, but in China, right? You said that, that it's bad for American people to uh, company like Apple or, or to different companies move their manufacturers of their product to the China, right? Correct, correct. Correct. And uh, you said always about a uh, person who has a ca who has a cancer and is very poor and and have a problem, right? Yep. Yeah. But but uh, taking things globally, you know, when you move manufacture to the uh, China, there are a lot of uh, happy people in China, not in not in USA, which have work, which have. Uh, food and uh, go on, go uh, and so on and so on. You care and we all care about people who are in our uh, uh, near. No, they are near. Hmm. Yes, uh, for people in our community. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, in a, in our community. But but overall, it's better to give a job for for uh, uh, Chinese people who take who, who which we pay. Two dollars per hour than than uh, to American people who which takes eight uh, dollars per hour because because uh, you know uh, it's better for your your economy and it's uh, better for overall overall happiness of the world I think and you know you, you said about about uh, okay. situation in country about uh, person who have cancer but. But if you think globally, there is a more tragic in the world. Say Syria, say Africa, uh, so many other places where there are drama in this country. Yeah, there are people yeah. living there too, being sick and everything. Okay, Pavel, any sure. questions to the, on the end or that's it? Uh, uh, it's, the, yeah, it's the end. You said that okay. It's long, Thank right? you. Okay, okay, Merry Christmas. Bye. See you. See you. Bye bye. This was uh, okay. So, so Martin, can we get to back to the Christmas subject? Yeah, let us. Yes, let, let's let's see enough of this. You mentioned something about guns, though. Is it a big topic well, right we, now? We can save that for another topic, uh, another That's day. That's true, though. Okay, we have a phone yeah. call though, uh, and okay. somebody. Okay. I hope it's about Christmas. Hello. Mm, about gun. I <laughs> heard this guy who shot uh, these children. Uh, his mother believes the end of the world. Oh, really? He heard what? She believed in the end of the world. Wow. Really? The m I don't know. Well, I well, heard I that. Yeah. He may have believed that. I, I just know that uh, what happened in Connecticut was a great tragedy for a lot of people. It's, re and it's affected America in a very big way, I think. Oh really? Will they yeah. start to give uh, a gun to a guard in the school finally, or will they make s uh, people defenseless? I don't know what they'll do. That's a good question, Martin. You know, we, we, the discussion in our school system here. I mm -hmm. can tell you this: uh, the, the schools where my children go to school, who you will say hello to in just a minute, mm -hmm. uh, th there have been p police on campus every day since then. Oh. Okay, so I so think what will happen is that they will start having some type of um, uh, armed security at schools around America. I really think okay. that's going to happen. I think it's good. Do you think it's not good? I don't know. I think it's fine. I think I'd it's like great. my I children to be protected 
with some I, by I someone with a gun. You know, if, the teachers. If the teachers want to carry, you know, that's. I think they should. Okay, uh, we know. have a listener. Do you have any questions or not? Question. No. Yes. About Christmas. Yeah. Uh, Christmas. Yeah, Christmas about question. Christmas. Yes, yes. Uh, more about the differences between states. Uh, differences between states? Oh, In yes. Uh, so, really? so I think he's asking, what's the difference between Christmas, for example, uh, in Massachusetts and maybe ah. Christmas in uh, North Carolina. Or oh, good or question. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, thanks. Uh, so we need to hurry up because it's it's an hour. So yes, well, are the actually, differences? I mean, good time. Uh, uh, great question. I would say that um, there is difference uh, from the standpoint of food. Sometimes the food is, is different. For example, in New England, you might have... Uh, more um, more uh, New England type food, uh, fish, which is what sh shellfish, lobster. Where lobster in North Carolina, for Christmas? You, yeah, that's weird. Where, Isn't it weird? Yeah, where in North Carolina you're going to have turkey and meat and and root vegetables like you have in Poland, and in California you have everything. So, wow, a and lobster course, for and Christmas. Course, and a, and, and of course, family. Family is a big part of Christmas all across America, and mm -hmm. people will be going to travel to visit their families everywhere in America. Oh, okay. So it's a so good Martin, time for have, terrorists, yeah? So, Mark, I have my children here. I have Eric. Say hello to Eric. Hi, Eric. Hey. Hey, what's up? Hello. How are you doing? Merry Christmas. Good. Uh, how are you? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, yeah. And, and I have David. Hello. Hello, David. Hi. Hello. Ask them a Christmas question. Oh, the Christmas question. Uh, oh, what's your favorite food on Christmas? Yeah. Favorite food on Christmas, David? Uh, peppermint patty pie. David likes peppermint patty pie. What is it? I, I don't know what it is. Can you describe it's it? It's hard to explain, but it's got peppermint and it's delicious. Oh. How about fruitcake? You like fruitcake? I don't think I actually tried it. You never really? tried fruitcake, see? See, okay, just like me. Eric. I never tried. E Eric, do you have a favorite food? No, I don't think I really do. Um, any Christmas dinner I would, any Christmas dinner that I would have, I'm usually thankful for in many ways. Oh, and how about fruitcake? Um, I despise it. <laughs> <laughs> so we now, ate, we're, yeah, we're, okay. going to, we're going to Good end answer. this with a Christmas song. Oh yeah, how about a song? And we can yeah. finish with a song, yeah. We're going to wish you a Merry Christmas. And I wish all our friends and family in Poland a very Merry Christmas. God bless you, everyone. Thank you. In the name of the Polish nation. Yes. So... We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your King. Good tidings of Christmas and a Happy New Year. Yay! <laughs> and a New Year, yeah. Oh yeah, the New All Year. Alright, Martin. I didn't ask questions about New Year, but I can what? imagine. Yeah, it's it's champagne, everything. Like and everywhere. Sylvester. Oh yeah, Sylvester. Okay, Greg. So that will be it. Time is up. Yes. Yeah. Merry we will Christmas talk to again you. in the near future, I'm sure. Oh yeah. See you. See you sometime soon. Yes. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Greg. <laughs> the first bye shot, bye. <laughs> and, and Martin. Yeah. Dujo mukrebuji prasha. Okay. You understood okay. it. Okay. Merry <laughs> Christmas. Thanks, Greg. Merry Christmas to you. Hey, that was Greg McKelvey. And this is the end of the Christmas special in Contestatia. It was good, wasn't it? You understood some of it, hopefully. And I have a song of my own, but I'm not going to sing it. One of our listeners sent us a song for Christmas and after the ending of, the, uh, of this episode, just stay for a while and listen to the it's three minute song of one of our listeners, a girl with a really nice voice. And it's in Polish, so if you don't speak Polish, you can just skip it. Oh, what did Greg say? Somebody's asking. He said, Dużo mokry buzi. Well, it's, he always says that. It's Greg McKelvey. Okay, 
So have fun, have a great Christmas. We won't uh, see each other until the... Well, for some time now. So really, try. Try to enjoy it. Try to be happy. I know, this is Poland. I know, Greg, Greg is a happy man and he doesn't know what's happening in Poland. You know, everybody's going small and scrotal. No, okay, let's forget it. Just be happy one day. Let's try this year, 2012. After all, this is the last year, right? End of the world. So, see you! Bye! Albert! Wychodzimy! Śnieg pada, wiatr wieje, przy kominku me dłonie grzeje. I cóż sama robić mam, moje radio kochane włączam. Wiem, że mróz nocy tej nie ustąpi, Martin z Hugo Durczoka zastąpi. Na agenta Tomka czekam, moje radio kochane włączam. Jeśli jesteś policjantem, och, strzeż się pana Kamila. Janek prawdziwym brylantem, dajcie mi tu fiora. Otwieraczem traktuję konserwy, chłopcy nie robią minuty przerwy. Z kontestacją mózg czysty mam, moje radio kochane włączam. Debil Hitler to słowa Korwina, widzę szyderczą twarz Martina, w narodową grę zagram. Moje radio kochane włączam, pośmijmy się ze Smoleńska, jak tu zignorować stroty. Blacha na torcie wisienka, remol też ma swój styl. Przesłucham firmę na emigracji, Birnat nie robi sobie wakacji. Przypałętał się nawet ksiądz, Wszystkim życzę wesołych świąt. Wesołych świąt kontestacją.